Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 here, and this is another quick tip for you. Now, most of you guys know that the Castle Creations power systems have a lot of flexibility and a lot of programmability through their Castle Link software, which we can see there, right on the screen. So, you know, and this is a great little software package unless you go in and do things like change you know, your light bulb cutoffs, your motor direction, um, braking power, and all sorts of stuff. But did you know that it will also let you measure the KV value of your motor? And it's actually a pretty simple process. So let me go ahead and show you. So first off, what you want to do is go in and with your Castle Link device set up, now you can use this guy and you can also use the programming card. Actually, I'm thinking the programming card might be the best buy because they both cost the same price, but the programming card will actually let you do stuff in the field. For this, you're kind of chained to a computer. But anyway, you plug up your uh, ESC here, and you guys have already seen how I have it set up so I can do a quick disconnect for the field. And you go ahead and tell the software to perform motor test. I see I've already done this um because i'm actually in the process of doing my pre-ship um uh, quality check for deuce here he sold and i'll make another little video and talk about that but anyway so for the new owner i just thought it'd be a nice little feature to put in a report showing you know what the actual kv of, uh, rating of the motor is so that they can use that to, as a base for the tuning but anyway so as you see here you click program motor test you get this nice little disclaimer here that gives you some instructions and how you need to have everything set up. You click OK. Then you go down and you click Update. And now it actually sends the instructions to the ESC telling it to prepare to get into motor test configuration. Once that's done, you click OK. Now you disconnect the ESC from the Castle Link and connect it back up to your receiver and uh, as you see I'm doing this one-handed so this is always a little bit of a challenge and it says a reminder because I always have to remind myself the castles because they don't use standard colors orange is a signal wire and red and brown are the positive and negative now you have it all plugged in flip the ESC back to the on position and it's very important that you need to make sure to do this test that the pinion is disconnected so in this case and I messed it up so in this case the pinion is not there now you go full throttle and you hold it down and it shuts off by itself that's the end of the test so now you shut the ESC back off and connect it back up to the castle software to the castle link device I should say and let's try that again doing this one-handed is always fun there we go Now you see is reading the throttle curves, reading information. So now all you need to do is go up to uh, the device commands. We already read the settings. So now we go to print preview. And you see, give it a name. I call it do settings. Click enter. And now it brings up a nice little report, which I'll make larger. And here on this line, you can see torque, electric motor, KV rating. And here it measured number 7113. Now, this is going to look like it's not going to make sense because obviously I don't have a 7100 KV motor. However, this is an older, this is a feature that was buried in the software. That's actually a leftover back from the two pole days. So you have to take this and divide it by two for a nice little four pole um, 3800 KV 1410 motor. 
and you see divide 7100 by 2 and you get a number that's closer to uh, 3600 like 3550 kV so now the question is what gives it's a 3800 kV motor but it's measuring about 3550 well don't be alarmed because the castle actually puts in a um, they actually put in a uh, margin of plus or minus 10 percent which means for a 3800 kV motor it can be off by roughly 400 uh, kV and still meet spec so in this case um, 3550 is you know a little low but it's not too bad and actually you know as you some of you guys know with the lower kV you actually get more torque and that's probably what you really want for a speedster type configuration so what well, you're running higher gear ratios so just a little, another little quick tip this is like i said this is a buried feature of the castle link software it's kind of a leftover from the good old days and they actually buried this feature uh, from what i understand because people were getting confused by the by these ratings but just be aware again that this gives you the the, the motor doesn't necessarily know the difference between a two pole and a four pole so just divide by two if you have a four pole motor and then this gives you some good information for you to use in your tuning and your calculations. All right, so I hope you guys found this useful. Always remember, to follow the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, do it all over again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.